Hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And let me explain, let me explain while I'm all up in your grill right now, okay? I am about to do a primer comparison. I have been raving and raving and raving about this primer right here and about this primer right here. So as of late, I've been using this primer right here, which is the It Bye Bye Pores Primer. It's oil-free, poreless, skin-perfecting serum primer. So this is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. But I already have a review and a comparison on the Becca Primer versus the Makeup Forever Primer, okay? So since I have been raving about this primer, a lot of you guys have been asking me, do I like it better than this one right here? Yeah. And the answer to that question is, I love them both equally. Now the next question that I get is, is it better than this one? I don't know. So that's what we're going to find out today. So what the plan is today is to find out if these two hold up the same, how they compare to each other, because I don't know. But since you guys have been asking so much, I'm totally like, I want to find out just like y'all want to find out. So y'all know what I say. I can show you better than I can tell you, right? And I love to do these videos so you guys can see it and you can make your decision and not just go off of what I say. I am going to apply the It Bye Bye Pores Primer on this side of my face, the left side, your right. And then I'm gonna apply the Becca Ever Matte on my right, your left, okay? And then I am going to insert pictures or insert video clips of my total makeup look or my complete makeup look after I have everything on. Then after about six or seven hours, I am going to take some pictures and I am going to insert them in this video so that you can see how it held up. So before we move on with the primer application, I'm gonna get my handy dandy phone right here and I'm gonna tell you what the claims of both of these primers are right quick and then we're gonna get started. First off, it says it's for normal, oily, combination, dry, and sensitive skin. It's a weightless, oil-free primer that blurs away pores and provides a smooth, matte finish for flawless makeup application. So yes, it does give you a matte finish. Hey, Solutions for enlarged pores, fine lines and wrinkles. And if you wanna know more, it says it's developed with plastic surgeons, it's revolutionary, it's pore erasing, it's anti-aging, it's a skin perfecter, it blurs the look of pores and fine lines, wrinkles, and uneven texture while hydrating and supporting skin health. I can get with that. I will put the link in the description box so you guys can read the rest of the specs, but it does say it's non-clogging and it's oil-free and translucent. I don't know about translucent because it makes me a little ashy, but I still love it nonetheless. And now let's run over to Becca real quick. Now Becca Ever Matte Primer is a targeted oil control primer that perfects and minimizes pores for mattified skin that lasts up to 12 hours. It says, it goes beyond extending makeup wear to address the root cause of why your makeup moves. This formula specifically targets oil prone areas and acts as a liquid blotting paper to leave your skin fresh and matte all day. You can use it alone, you can use it before foundation application or after foundation application to control excess oil. It says feel free to use it throughout the day to touch up areas of concern. I have never tried this before, but it does say that you can use this as kind of like a blotting paper. So throughout the day, as you tend to get oily, you can take a little bit and then you can just, you know, kind of blot it on your face or pat it on your face. And also you're supposed to pat it in, not rub it in. But this one is like a moisturizer, so I totally rub it in, okay? I didn't even read the directions on it, but that's what I do. I would not wear it alone, y'all. Not if you my skin tone, cause mm -mm, you look ashy, I'm just telling you. This one right here, this Becca, I do not put all over my face. I only put like in the areas that I need it, like on my nose and right here where I have pores and my chin. And I usually put it in that line right there. I didn't want to bring y'all all in my pores, but I tried to bring you close enough so that you can see them. So I do have pores right here and I have some on my nose and I do have a problem area right here it is a line and the reason that I have that line is because I listen real intently like this or when I'm concentrating even when I'm watching YouTube videos my family come in and they're like what are you doing because why are you what's up with that line like why it's so serious Batman that's where I got that from let's get it remember pat it in now when I did my first video on the Becca I totally didn't pat but you're totally supposed to pat, okay? And I see a lot of people put this Becca on and I see that they have it like all like white looking and it dries out. They put like a lot, they just like sit it on there. I choose not to do that because I do not like the texture. You really have to blend hard on your foundation when you do that. Well, I think, I'm gonna put in this little laugh line right here too. 
and just a little bit on top of my cheeks because that's where I rock my highlighter and I tend to get kind of oily there. And you know what? I have not worn this primer since it's been fall, but come on, I'm in LA and um, we did have a little rain the other day, but it's been like in the 70s and 80s some days. So I don't know if that's fall. I think I will take the Becca like down here a little more. Oh, see, y'all can see that. Oh! Ooh, you can totally see the difference. Better get those pores back up. I'm gonna use this hand so it's all fresh and clean. And it is really, 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 look at that. It is so blendable and it spreads. So you don't need a lot at all. So anyway, I just, I just go ham and I'll put it over like my whole face. I just do, cause it feels like a moisturizer. I should have just wiped my hands off with a wipe because I'm totally not left-handed and I'm not an ambidextrous either. Or I'm not, do you say I'm not an ambidextrous or I'm not ambidextrous? Whatever. You know what I'm saying. <gasps> not the brow, Cletus. I am in the process of filming a throwback video as well. So I did use the Naked Palette on my eyes and I am gonna use this Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream Foundation. But to see that, you will have to watch the other video, okay? But I will be back in this video to show you the final look so that you can see them side by side. But right now, here it is, the primer, all by itself, side by side. You see that cast though? And then I'm getting it a little bit right here too because I put a lot. I've had my makeup on for about five and a half hours. I don't know if I made that six hour mark yet, but I am actually surprised. Like I haven't blotted or anything and my nose looks fine. I haven't had to blot anything. Now maybe because it was like 73 degrees today. I think that is the hottest that it got, but I'm still surprised. So I am getting a little oily right up in Chia, but that is it. My nose looks good right in here. It's starting to get just a little oily, but I, hey, it's looking good. It was only about 73 degrees here in LA, so that could be one of the reasons, but I am very impressed with both of these. And at first, I took my little mirror and I totally thought that it cosmetic side one, but then when I got all up on the camera to show you guys, I was looking at both of them and it's about the same. So to answer your question, I guess they're kind of equal. I don't know, even though this is not like considered an ever matte type of primer, you good with this one, y'all. You are good. So both of these babies are the bomb.com. Hashtag Seeky approved. So that is it for this video, you guys. I hope that I've answered your question. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up. And you guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Seeky beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Seeky beauty makeover. Hey. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Yeah. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we, we ain't playing, playing games. games. It's the Seeky beauty. Yeah, Seeky beauty. Seeky beauty.